Well, we're in Cornwall. This is uh, our last day. We came for a week's holiday. We've and been here uh, two weeks nearly. Decided to extend it <laughs> by another week. But we've had so much fun. We've walked our socks off. Seen every beach I think that's possible on the Cornish coast. Maybe not. And uh, so today's our last day and we're heading back to the boat tomorrow. We've been absolutely spoiled with the weather. It's been like this nearly Every all week. Every day. Nearly, it's now mid-October and um, it's just been so lovely. We've seen my son while we've been down here. He took us fishing. We've done coast walks, all sorts. It's just been fabulous. Really, really lovely time. We've just had the best of times and uh, time to head back to the boat and uh, pick it up in its secret location and carry on our journey on the canal systems. And before you say you don't need a holiday when you're on a boat, that, I guess that's true, but I think everybody needs a change of scenery sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And we've been to places we're obviously never going to get the boat down here. Um, and it's just, yeah, needed to be done, did not it? Yeah, it's stunning. Still prefer Scotland though. <laughs> Sorry Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. So uh, before we came down here, we actually came up the Foxton flight of locks. So uh, here's a little bit of video all about that. Completed in 1814, Foxton locks consists of two sets of five staircase locks, where each lock opens directly into the next, the bottom gates of one lock forming the top gates of the next. Grade 2 listed, the locks are a popular visitor attraction with a country park and also a museum which sadly has been closed since the pandemic. Here we are going up Foxton Locks. There's 10 staircase locks. We didn't have any time to do a bit to camera at the bottom. We went straight through. So uh, we're in the second chamber now. We've got another eight to do after this. And we've got some great volunteers getting us up, giving Fran a hand. We were expecting a bit of a wait at the bottom before coming up. I just about managed to get the drone up before they called us through. So uh, didn't do any preparing for this. Just pointing the camera as we go. And this is the halfway point. We've come up five locks now, and then there's a small pound for passing if there are boats coming down. The Rich is just coming up now. We've got a team of lovely volunteers helping us, and halfway.
and that's it this is the last chamber number 10 and uh, such a great team of volunteers getting you through really friendly people and uh, really make it a real special adventure coming up here so we're just going to go another couple of miles or so and uh, moor up and uh, see what's left to explore so the locks at Foxton are slightly different to normal locks we have red paddles and white paddles on each lock now the white paddle lets the water from that lock into the side pound here and the red paddle behind me takes the water from the pound into the lock below and the pad pound is just a reservoir for water just to keep it all level and there's a saying from these lovely lock keepers and it says white before red and red you before red before white and you'll be all right white before red you're likely to be dead is that right so just have to remember it all the way down and all the way up white before red red before white <laughs> but we've made it in one piece so i think we've done all right thank goodness for the volunteers that are on duty to help us out Peter and Paul, thank you very much for your help today. Well done on getting everybody up and down safely and very much appreciated. Thank you. Here you can see the remains of Foxton Incline Plain, which was completed in 1900 to relieve the bottleneck of traffic at Foxton Locks. Each tank was capable of carrying two narrowboats, but sadly the system was never busy enough and closed just 10 years later in 1910. Traffic reverted to using the locks, which were unused since the opening of the lift. Well, that was exciting, our trip up Foxton Locks, first time we've been up, uh, it's wonderful. It was a real experience and uh, it was so, actually so easy. We were a little bit nervous about doing it, thought it might be difficult, but it's so easy. Just made even more special by the lovely lock volunteers. They've always got a smile on their face and ready, willing to chat. Yeah. Really interested in what you're doing. And also the mechanisms are really, really well kept and it's, it's everything is just easy about it and fun. It's a good experience, yeah. And the view behind us is fantastic. So not a bad mooring spot and we've just had the longest cruise ever to get to this I think it took us two minutes we were moored up just behind past some towpath works and under a bridge moored up there yesterday after coming up Foxton Locks and thought we'd found a perfect mooring spot quiet nobody around the only thing was it was a little bit shady I walked the dogs this morning and as often happens just around the corner is a better spot so we upped anchor or mooring pins and um, moved for three minutes two minutes <laughs> and that's our setup for the day lovely views sunshine on the solar panels happy dogs and we're happy
So I've just settled down with Archie to do a little bit of towpath gardening. I've taken the planters off the roof. They're getting a little bit overgrown and straggly now and sometimes it's difficult to see over them. So I'm going to trim them back. But in this pot here, we've got nasturtiums, which have been really good. You can eat the leaves, I think we've said before, in salads. But we're now left with lots and lots of nasturtium seeds. Now, I'm pulling them all off, number one, because it helps the flowers to continue a little bit longer, but also because these can be pickled and turned into capers or caper alternatives. And you know me, I can't bear to waste anything. I'm always game to try, so um, here we go, with the help of two little doggies. Well, we're on the Welford Arm of the Leicester branch of the Grand Union Canal. We didn't mean to come this far today. We've been through the tunnel, filled up with diesel, uh, given the shortage, we were lucky, and um, filled up with water, got some gas, and we're on the Welford Arm, as I said, with just a, a mile and a half to go before the end of this little arm which is beautiful. It's a really windy day. I wasn't expecting to go this far as I said but uh, loving it all the same. Really pretty. So we're going to moor up at the bottom and see if we can uh, stay there for a few days. Well the weather has definitely taken a turn. Brand has just popped down and got my jacket and hat for me. The wind's blowing and uh, no sun coming through the clouds and the trees. So it's pretty cool. A bit different to uh, last week when we were in shorts and t-shirts and sandals, but uh, that's a thing called autumn for you. So if you're wondering why we've got two pairs of boots on the roof, they're drying out because we left them on the back deck all night and they are soaking wet through. So uh, roll on when we get our pram hoods, which is on order. We've got to wait a few weeks before they can come and measure out for the template. But uh, all being well, by November we'll have a, a nice dry cover for bringing the dogs in and keeping our boots dry. Fran's just gone to do the only lock on this little stretch. I hope you enjoyed that Foxton flight and as we said earlier this is our last day in Cornwall so we're heading back to the boat now and we're looking uh, forward to our onward travels aren't and we? we are just, looking forward yeah. to just getting on and moving now and yeah. um, heading down to Oxford for Christmas yes hopefully we have discovered that there's a whole load of stoppages in there and out are. of Oxford loads yeah. and we almost changed our mind but we've stuck with it it just means that we've really got to watch where we are from week to week so we can get in and out again but it should be fine. So it seems like it's going to take us two, two and a half months before <laughs> we can get back off the Oxford Canal when we're eventually on it but that's okay there's plenty of walks plenty of places to go yeah. and see so uh, stick with us subscribe give us yep. a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you on the next one. See you soon!